to Victory Condition Gaming. I'm Doug, and today we're going to learn how to play Destiny Quest. Destiny Quest is a series of game books written by Michael J. Ward. These books um, have three acts, and it's kind of like a role-playing game, choose-your-own-adventure, almost a video game type of mashup in this huge 650-page novel. Now, if you've never played a game book or an RPG, then these are a great way to learn how to get into the hobby. Destiny Quest books are easy to learn, and this video is going to show you the basics of how to start out your character, what you're going to need to start playing, um, or what, what we recommend to start playing um, these books with, and hopefully you can start your own adventure with the Destiny Quest series. Now, I'm going to give you a close-up of what you should probably bring to the table when you are starting out your adventure. Right. Well, this is our basic setup. You're going to want a copy of Destiny Quest, The Legion of Shadow, just everything right there. You're also going to want to go to Destiny Quest, Destiny Quest.com, and just print off a hero sheet. This sheet is also in the front of the book, right there. But it's just easier if you have your own sheet. That way, you don't have to flip back and forth to the front of the the book. You're also going to probably want a combat sheet. A combat sheet um, just kind of helps. Um, keep track of the damage as it's going because uh, there's multiple rounds of combat and this kind of keeps everything all in one spot. The other thing you're going to want is a nice sharp pencil with a good eraser. Um, you can use a pen but sometimes you're going to be erasing stuff on your hero sheets so I'm going to suggest you use a pencil. The other thing that you're going to probably want is two pairs of dice. And the reason for that is when you do combat, you roll um, for speed. And it's just easier rather than rolling once and then rolling again. If you roll them both at the same time, you can kind of save yourself some time. And we always use these red dice as the hero dice or the adventure dice, and the black dice as the opponent or monster, what have you. Um, so then that way we know whose dice are whose, and then we can just turn it that way. With the hero sheet, if you're going to have your name of your character. So you, to start out, you're going to want to give your character a name. and with Destiny Quest, there are four stats that you are going to um, keep track of. There's speed, brawn, magic, and armor, and we'll go over what each one does here shortly. And then you have different areas that you can equip your character with. And you have a cloak, you have a head, gloves, main hand, chest, left hand, talisman, feet, and then you've got money pouch because you get you do start out the game with, with 10 gold, and you use gold throughout the game to buy different equipment. Um, you also start out the game with 30 health, and if your health gets down to zero, you are defeated, and you can start that conflict over again. But we'll go into that in here in a little bit. You also have a spot for a necklace, a ring, and another ring, and then you also have special abilities. The other thing that you have is a backpack, and a backpack holds five slots, and pretty much those are five areas for items that you might want to store later, might be a health potion, might be a sword, might be armor, something so then that way you have those to store later, um, but you cannot hold more than, than five items. And same thing with potions, if you cannot just stack two potions in one spot, they have to actually take two, two spots if you have more than one potion. That's basically the what you need to start out with. The other thing that I will show you is that with uh, Destiny Quest there's three acts and you of course start with Act 1 and if you go into the middle of the book 
will show you the map for Act 1. And here's the little legend for the map. You've got a brown spot for the village or town or camp. Basically those are areas where you can probably buy items or talk to villagers, get some more information about the area or what's going on. You have green quests, which are the easiest quests. You have orange quests, which are, you know, moderately hard. And then you have blue quests, which are hard quests. And then you have red quests, which are the hardest quests. And you have a boss monster and a legendary monster. And those you um, have to defeat in order to go to Act 2. And if you were to start out, you would probably want to go to the village first. And it tells you that if you want to go to the village, you go to page 6. And from there, you just make different decisions. Once you're done at the village, it'll, it'll, you'll want to choose a quest. If you want to start with this quest right here, you would turn to page 15 and then start your choices. This quest here, page 22, and so on and so forth. Once you've done all the green quests, you probably want to move up to the orange quest, then the blue quest, the red quest, and so on and so forth. Um, then there is a map for Act 2, Act 3, and in the middle of the book is this beautiful two-page illustration, which is just awesome. With Destiny Quest, you are immortal. You cannot die, per se, but if you die at a certain quest, you can either go back to the map and start a different quest, or you can go back to where you um, died and try again. You can even actually just go to the village if you want and maybe buy some items or something to help you along. Now the way it works with speed, brawn, and magic, speed is an area where you, you it's, a, it's a stat that you use with combat. Basically, when you initiate a combat in the book, when you come across someone that, that you have to battle, you roll dice for your speed, and then you roll dice for the opponent's speed. Now what you would do is you would then add the speed and whoever has the highest total would get to make a hit. And then what you would do is you take a damage die, you would roll it, and then you would add either your brawn or magic depending on what class you were. And then that would be how much damage you're going to inflict on your opponent or the opponent's gonna inflict on you. Also, if you have armor, you deduct the armor from the damage. So say I rolled and I won, I had the higher speed, I would roll a damage die, I would have three damage, and say I had one brawn, so my total damage would be four. My opponent has a two armor, so I would take four and then minus the two armor, and I would do two points of damage to the opponent. You would then roll both die for speed again. I have I would have five plus two because of my plus two speed it would make it a seven. My opponent has eight and he has a plus one speed, so that would be nine. He gets to do damage. We would roll a damage die. It would be one. And then if I had any armor, it would subtract from one. As you can see, combat is very easy. Um, later on in the book, you can choose a class and you can also choose um, career paths. So it is really easy to start out and we're just starting the series ourselves. So we don't know all the intricacies of the game book, but we are very excited to start and uh, we're, we're learning. We're going to be streaming this book and play through on our Twitch channel. If you go to twitch.tv backslash victory condition gaming, um, we will be airing on Thursday nights at 6 p.m. And then we will also upload those streams here on our YouTube channel. One other thing I will note that if you are printing off information from the Destiny Quest website, you might want to 
print off the glossary of special abilities. Just it's great information on what certain abilities do, and I've, I have a feeling that this will definitely come in handy later on in the game. And again, it's not necessary, but you probably just want to have it right on hand. That's the basics of Destiny Quest, Legion of Shadow. If you have any questions, put them in the um, comments below, and I will be glad to answer them. If I pointed out something incorrectly, please point that out as well, and uh, we will start streaming on the 24th. I hope everyone enjoys our gameplay, and we'll see you all on Thursday nights. Thanks, folks.